Hi everyone, it's me James. I'm back with another video. I know it's been a while since I uploaded anything and that's because I haven't ordered anything in a while. Now, I have recently just ordered something and it came in the mail today and that's because I ordered it for my, my sister's graduation. My sister is graduating from college next month in May and I wanted to get her something nice. So I thought to get her a purse. So, and I also got my mother one too. It's the same one, so uh, they're both getting a purse. Um, Anywho, this is a replica. So if you are not into replicas and this is not your thing, by all means I understand you ain't even gotta watch the video. For those of you who are interested, stay tuned for this unboxing. Anyway, so let me get right into it. I don't wanna waste y'all time. So I did order the box. DHL because like I said the graduation is in about three to four weeks it is in May and May is right around the corner because we are already on April 12th so I, I I didn't have time to order it and not know when it was gonna come so I just DHL shipped it and this cost me about 80 bucks 80 bucks to ship this Express but it's all worth it because I love my sister and I love my mom so it's worth it so I'm going to get right into unboxing this. So the bag specifically I ordered was the Neverfull Damier Ebene in GM size. Biggest one they have. Um, that's the brown checkered one. Um, the red the, with the red inside Neverfull. Now I'm, look, I don't know a lot about the purses part. I know about duffels and book bags and stuff like that. On the men's side of the Louis Vuitton collection, I know. But when it comes to the purses and stuff like that, I don't really know much. Um, so forgive me if I say something wrong. It's like, that's not the way you pronounce it. Or that's not the reason, cause I really don't know much about it. So, but I do want to do an unboxing from you. Now, this is the same seller that I brought all my bags from. Even the last video I did with the um, this bag. With the review I did with this bag, is the same seller I got this and this from, and pretty much all my bags from. Uh, when it comes to bags, I, I go to the same seller all the time. Uh, if you guys wanna know who the seller is, just personal message me. Um, I will have my Instagram, my Facebook, down in the description. Instagram is probably the best way to contact me. Um, and I will just send you the seller's information. Anyway, let me just start opening this. And whoever this is, they make sure they, they wrap these bags tightly in the boxes. Ah. how it looks in the box very tightly wrapped I got tape on my finger <laughs> so I look Some plastic That's one That's the box. This is the second one. now I'm only gonna open up well technically I gotta open up both anyway because they both have to go to my mother and one guy's to go to my uh, sister. You know, let's see. So they tape down. You see me? They put them in a the bag and I guess they tape it down. I think I'm gonna just open up one because they're both the same exact bag. I just uh. And the same color and everything. I just think it's better to just do one because they're both the same. So this is the dust bag. Now it's not like the the good dust bags that Louis Vuitton have. It's like it's like some type of soft cotton on one side, and then it's like some neon nylon. Sorry, I said neon. <laughs> some nylon fabric on the other side. It doesn't feel authentic at all. Um, the lettering print on here is pretty clear and it's pretty decent but I do know the real one does not come in that color it's like a bluish dark blue color it comes in so the dust bag is not that great but it is better than some dust bags I've seen um, and you know it's not like you're walking out with the dust bag 
you know, this is just for it to be at home to protect your bag when you store it. So realistically, it doesn't really need to be all that good looking. Um, it's the bag that you're gonna be carrying outside that you want to look good. Anyway, so this is it. Let's open it, take this thing out. So it's in more plastic, but as y'all can see, <laughs> it's the brown one. Look, and it smells just like leather. So this is how it looks. Here's how the inside looks. Sorry, I'm just trying to get a good grip on this so you guys can see. Okay, so. I'm gonna show y'all everything. It does come with the, um, the, uh, small uh, uh, pouch thing uh, that I know it's supposed to come with. You know, I'm gonna open this. Um, okay. Okay. I feel something in it, so. Probably just and stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh it's supposed to be like a strap or something. Oh uh, yeah. It's probably just a strap to put this um to hook the um what's the name through. So if I if I here to hook it through the this thing here. So, um now I don't know if I should just take this out. Um, or if I should just leave it in the plastic and stuff it's in and give it to my mother and stuff like, just like that. Um, I am going to tell them that it is a replica. Um, you know, I don't want them to find out through someone else that it's a replica. I mean, like, they're really good replicas, you know. The only way somebody's going to find out it's a replica is if they go looking in the bags specifically. Now... Off the back, this is a softer type of leather. Now, I don't know if, like I said, I don't really know the the bags like this, um, but this is a very softer type of leather. It does have the grains on it. You can hear the grains. It that actually does smell like leather. I know some people say they get their bags and they smell like this high, whatever, smell and it's kind of like, whew. This is actually really good. It smells like leather, uh, authentic leather it, to me. And the stitching is always good. Like, without a doubt, like I said, I've been ordering like all my stuff from this seller. So without a doubt, I, I have no concern in the world because usually everything I order is perfect. So without a doubt, I knew this was gonna be a good one. But yes, this is how it looks. And the second one I ordered is the same exact one. Yeah, I probably want to see the straps and stuff. Pretty thick straps. Um, I know that's another thing people are concerned about. So this is the thickness of it. They're pretty, pretty thick. They feel very sturdy. There's a stitching on it. I know uh, when I was doing reviews on it, people are concerned about the stitching here. Something about the stitching on the on the side. Oh shoot! Sorry, hit the camera about the stitching on the side of it. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera, my bad. <laughs> but they're concerned about the stitching, so that's how the stitching look. Um, I don't know. 
that's pretty much it. It has this this uh, pouch part in here. This Louis Vuitton pouch. This is how it looks. Let's see if I can get it a little close up on the camera. Better picture. Okay, I can see. I'm so sorry. This is harder than it seems to get it like straight. Okay. Um, something about a serial number is supposed to be under it. See, I did some reviews on YouTube, so let me see if it's a serial number. Yes, it is. It says YX1678. But it's extremely faint. It's like you can barely see it. I, I doubt the camera's gonna be able to pick that up, but it's like really faint, like super duper faint. Like, it's very lightly put on. Yeah, the camera's definitely not gonna be able to pick that up. Heck, I could barely see it. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's the bag. I ordered two, same thing. One is gonna go for my mother. And one's gonna go to my sister. And that, let me show y'all the bottom too, cause y'all probably, so this is what the bottom looks like. Now, I do like to compare how the bag looks to the actual one on Louis Vuitton website, uh, on the Louis Vuitton website. And uh, just to make sure that they are looking exactly alike, Louis Vuitton Never Fall Damier Ebene GM. Okay, so I'm on Google and I'm gonna go to um, this, the, the actual Louis Vuitton website and I'm gonna see if they have the Ebene up here. So here we are. This is it. And this is the GM. Let me see if it has a size. See, if you see over there in the corner, it says size, never for GM. And that's how the picture looks for the GM. So I'm just concerned about the inside. Cause I did, I don't, like I said, I don't really know much about these purse, but I have seen some reviews where the uh, inside of the bag, like this part, where the pouch is with the Louis Vuitton thing on it, this thing. I've seen some of the bags like this, but the Louis Vuitton here is written in like this like fancy script. Um, and uh, when I, when I uh, seen that it's different on the, on, I don't know if that was an older model that um, Louis Vuitton used to make for the Neverfulls and then they just updated the Neverfulls and this is how it looks like because on the website if you look in the uh, on the website because this is the actual Louis Vuitton website if you press and look at the one with the inside of the bag you see it has that same print like the bag I have but let me see is that camera picking up well on that but I don't know if this is picking up well um, but as you can see, it's just like, like this one, but the ones I've seen some people do reviews on YouTube with, it has like this type of script. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't know if that's an older version bag and this is just how the newer updated version never falls look. I don't know, but from what I know, this and this is, uh, identical. So, and that's usually how I do my reviews on my stuff before I actually I actually buy it so that's my review um, I hope you guys enjoyed it um, if you want to know the seller like I said just uh, inbox me uh, I'm gonna have my um, Instagram and my Facebook Instagram is probably the best way to inbox me I'll probably get back to you more quicker um, I have my Instagram and Facebook linked in the description you can hit me up there and I will send you the um, seller's information, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, until next time when I have another video, uh, if you guys love this, keep, keep subscribing, 
keep asking for um more content and i will find a way to get it uh thanks guys peace man thanks